Hello East Brunswick, Mr. Tippin here. Today we're going to be learning about two-dimensional shapes. Before we start talking about the attributes of shapes, I first want to teach you a few things. We're going to start off today talking about polygons and the different attributes that we use to describe shapes. Let's jump right in. Polygons are shapes that have angles. And there are three ways that we can know a shape is a polygon. Polygons have three key attributes. They have straight sides, the lines do not cross, and it is a closed shape. Let's look at a few examples of shapes that are not polygons and shapes that are polygons. Now this is a familiar shape, but let's see if it's a polygon. Does it have straight sides? No, in this case it does not have straight sides. Let's look at the other characteristics. Lines do not cross. Well, in this case there are no overlapping lines, and it is a closed shape as well. So even though this shape, this circle, meets two out of these three attributes, it is not a polygon. A polygon must meet all three of these rules. Straight sides, lines that do not cross, and it is closed. Let's take a look at this shape. This shape has straight sides, the lines do not cross, however it is not a closed shape. You can see on the bottom there's a little gap, so this shape is also not a polygon. This shape appears to have straight sides, it appears to be at least partly closed, but the lines cross. None of these three shapes are polygons. The rest of these shapes are also not polygons. Take a moment to pause the video and look at each shape, and if you have somebody nearby, you can explain to them why each shape is not a polygon. Now let's take a look at another shape. This shape you might recognize as a triangle, and we'll talk more about triangles in a moment. This shape has straight sides, the lines don't cross, and it is a closed shape. Let's look at another polygon. This one has straight sides, the lines don't cross, and it's closed. So this shape is a polygon. This shape is irregular, but it has straight sides, the lines do not cross, and it is closed. So this shape is also a polygon. Now let's talk about the ways we describe shapes. These are called attributes. When we are describing shapes, we think about different attributes or features of that shape. One of the things that we think about when we talk about a shape are the sides. In this case, we'll be thinking about how many sides does a shape have. The rectangle here on the right has four sides. A vertex is where two lines meet, and you can see on this shape there are four vertices. Vertices is the word we use to say more than one vertex. A vertex is the point where two angles meet, and the angle is the distance between them. In this shape, there are four angles. Now there are two new ideas that we'll be thinking about today as well. One is parallel lines. Parallel lines are lines that are always the same distance apart. If we imagine that the lines travel forever in either direction, they will never ever cross, because they will always stay the same distance apart. In this shape, there are two sets of parallel lines. The lines on the left and on the right are parallel, and the top and bottom lines are parallel to each other. Now a special kind of angle is called a right angle. Sometimes it's called a square angle, and you might be able to see why. A right angle is when two sides meet and they create an L or square shaped angle. We'll talk more about those as we investigate a few different shapes. These are the five attributes we're going to consider when we look at two dimensional shapes. Let's start off by looking at triangles. Before we get started, I want to think about the word triangle. And there are two parts to this word. The first part is tri. And you may have heard tri in other words before, like in a tricycle, a three-wheeled vehicle. Tri means three. And the second part of the word we know as well, angle. So a triangle is a polygon that has three angles. Let's look a little deeper at our triangles. As we look at a triangle, we're going to think about how many sides does it have, how many angles does it have, and how many vertices does it have. 
We'll also check in to see does it have any parallel lines or right angles. Let's take a look at our first triangle. This triangle has three sides, three angles, and three vertices. That's the place where the sides meet. How many sides does this triangle have? Three. How many angles? Three again. How many vertices? Also three. Huh. And it looks like this one has the same. Three sides, three angles, and three vertices. So all three shapes have three sides, three angles, and three vertices. None of these shapes appear to have parallel lines, but one of them does seem to have a right angle. Which of the three angles here do you think is a right angle? The right angle is in the bottom left corner. It's the angle that looks like it could make a square. It's the, it's the angle that looks like it could make two sides of a square. Now let's take a look at quadrilaterals. Now this is a fun long word. Let's think about the parts of it. First, there's quadrant. Now maybe you've heard of a quadcopter before. A quadcopter is called a quadcopter because it has four of these spinning propellers. And a quadrilateral has something to do with four. This part of the word means side. So a quadrilateral means a four-sided shape like the rectangle you see here. Let's dive in for a little more. Let's investigate this first shape. We'll start with sides. How many sides does this shape have? It appears to have four. How many angles? Four angles. How many vertices? Four vertices. Interesting. I have a hypothesis. I'm thinking that the next quadrilateral will also have four sides, four angles, and four vertices. And it looks like it does. Four sides, four angles, and four vertices. Our final shape also has four sides, four angles, and four vertices. And even though they look slightly different, they are all quadrilaterals because they have these three attributes, four sides, four angles, and four vertices. Let's check on these last two attributes, parallel lines and right angles. And one of these shapes has both parallel lines and right angles. Can you pick which one? This quadrilateral has a special name, and it's called a square. And it has four right angles, and it has two sets of parallel lines. So a square has four sides, four angles, four vertices, two sets of parallel lines, and four right angles. We're going to look at two more groups of polygons, pentagons and hexagons. Just like the word polygon means many angles, pentagon and hexagon mean five and six angles, respectively. A pentagon has five, and a hexagon has six. Now that you've had some practice thinking about looking at the pentagon, I see that not only does it have five angles, it has five sides and five vertices. The hexagon appears to have six sides and six vertices. The same is true no matter how it's shaped. So long as the pentagon has five sides, five angles, and five vertices, and the hexagon has six sides, six angles, and six vertices, they will always have the same name. Today, we thought about different kinds of polygons and how we can use their attributes to describe them, like the number of sides they have, the number of vertices they have, the number of angles they have, and whether or not they have parallel lines or right angles. Now, it's your turn to give it a try. In this shape, how many polygons can you find? And how do you know what shape it is? You might find triangles, quadrilaterals, pentagons, hexagons, and who knows, maybe you'll even find some shapes that we haven't discovered yet. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and until next time, happy classifying.